All right. So apparently there was an update to this game. Uh, nothing super worth talking about except the scoreboard. There is now a scoreboard, as you can see, that shows everything. Even a bunch of stuff you don't want to see on the, on the left side. <laughs> um, but hey, it's a scoreboard and it works and that's cool. And hey, thanks for listening to us, Dice. I appreciate that. I'm sure a lot of people... What the... Are really appreciative of that. Um, but uh, that's that's about it, actually. That's, that's pretty much the only change worth talking about. That's a little bird. The question, I'm on the ladder now. And that's, that's really the answer right there to the question that I haven't asked yet, which is, what does it feel like? It feels like this, still, pretty much. I feel absolutely no difference in gameplay. You know, which is, hey, if you liked it before, then you'll like it now. Because it's exactly the same. Uh, but if you're like most of us and felt like the gameplay was a little underwhelming, gunfights were full of latency, the uh, tick rate was appalling, well, it's, uh, it's, it's still like that. There's been no change. Scoreboard is great. The gameplay is still terrible. I guess their plan with this game is to slowly, over the period of about 10 years, fix everything we thought was bad. At least that's, that's what it feels like. Balls. <laughs> I came in with a positive attitude and an open mind. And I'm, I'm slowly but surely, actually quite quickly but surely, resenting that I opened the game again. These are just my impressions. I don't know, I mean... It's kind of hoping for some... real changes. It's not that it's not a fun game. It's just, it's just, I mean, it's, it's weird. I guess, I, it just feels so squishy, you know? That's, that's the only way I can describe it. Is it's, it's just still pretty squishy of a game. There's absolutely no sense of urgency or competitiveness in the gameplay. My knife still comes out when I exit vehicles, nice. Because you should have a knife keybind when you're in a vehicle, I guess? Yeah. The problem is knowing that even if you do a good job, you're not necessarily going to get rewarded for it. Um, it's... It's like a, a kid game, I guess. A game for kids, even though it's rated... I'm sure it's rated M. There's not really any, like, incentive to play well. The hit markers and the kill sound effect are nice. Those are good. So that's one thing. But it's been like that from the start, and unfortunately, a, a satisfying kill effect is not what makes a game. There's, uh, there's a lot more <laughs> that you need to accomplish for this to be the case. Sun glare is still here, making it so that if I'm on this side, can't see anything. So the scoreboard's good. Yeah, good job. I would say if I had to rate this patch from 1 to 10, they gave us a scoreboard, so I can't give it a zero. Um, I'm gonna say it's a three out of 10, giving it a solid 30%. Uh, because none of the things that I hated about this game are fixed. None of it. The latency, the, uh, the sun, 
the uncompetitive nature. The TTK. Ah! Look out! The hit reg. <laughs> I mean, it's all just the same. Where are these guys coming from? Ex what? How are you here? The weapon balance is all still the same. I don't have a huge problem with the weapon balance. What the? What the? What the? The flying squirrel's still here. Not something I super enjoy. Damn. I mean, how long has it been? I mean, we have to consider the fact that it came out during the holiday. But at the end of the day, you just don't get a pass, you know? If your game's not good, and you can't fix it because you're on vacation, well, you know, I'm not saying I don't want devs to spend time with their families. What I'm saying is, you have to put out a product that's decent, you know? It has nothing to do with the vacation. I don't want to hear about Christmas breaks anymore, you know? Plus, how long was the Christmas break? <laughs> like, I keep hearing people talk about, oh, the devs have to had to go on break, so that's why it took so long. That doesn't really make sense to me, because what, what year are we in now? 2022 in March. And Christmas is at the end of December. So we're a solid three months. A solid three months away from Christmas. Launched in November after a delay. So four months off release. And we get this. It's a beautiful scoreboard doesn't fix the game unfortunately see the problem is I'm not sure this game is fixable because the problems the problems the game has that are the worst you know like hit reg and the latency the things that keep you from being rewarded for being good at the game they're not really gameplay issues can you fix latency when there's 128 players on a server? I can cite I can cite Battle Royale games and say, you know, Warzone doesn't have latency problems really at all. And there's 200 players on their on their map. I guess. I mean, Warzone's got planes, it's got it's got kill streaks being called in all the time. It's got bombs. I mean, I'm just trying to find something to compare this to, right? Cuz it's an ambitious um, undertaking. 128 players, 64-man teams. I mean, it's not something to scoff at. Dropping an explosive. Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> Too bad you missed, buddy. Too bad you missed. So you can say, oh, well, for what they have achieved, the quality is fine. Because what can you expect? You know, there's a lot going on. Never really been done before. Graphics quality is okay. What is, what the frick is happening here? You can't come out with a product and say, so it's kind of crappy, but I mean, for what we were trying to do, it's okay. No one set the goal but them, you know? Like we didn't say, you better come out with 128 player matches or we won't play. This, it wasn't like that. They had a choice to make the game exactly how they wanted to make it. And uh, that's that. I mean, if it's not good, then there's no excuses. You can't, you can't, you can't do it. I mean, to me, putting a scoreboard in the game is not something worthy of patch notes. I mean, that's a tweet, you know? That's like, hey, we put a scoreboard in. Sorry, it took so long. Oh, hello. Awkward. 
There's, there's so many people here. Oh! I just don't know if it's fixable, you know? I, I wonder if it's uh, just a technology problem. I'm trying to think of things that they could do to make it better. But it's just the game at the end of the day, I think. I think it might just be time to give up. Like, I think most people already have. Because my main compla complaint is that the game feels overall squishy, it's just inherent to the game. And it's not something you can fix without completely redoing the mechanics, you know? There's just too much, you know? There's just, there's just too much. And I think putting a battle pass in at this point is really disrespectful. I don't know, man. I don't know. I had a good break from this game, came back after three months, played two games, and it feels the same. As someone who's played this since launch and put 100 hours into this game, which I'm assuming is probably somewhere up there near the top of player base at this point. So after coming back with a fresh, kind of a fresh start, you know, with a fresh mind, an open mind, and reading all these fixes in the patch notes, scoreboard's great, but I, I play a game and it feels the same. Well, I don't want to go into a rant again, so I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> Let me know if you've played it recently, what you think about it, if, it uh, if it's made any difference to you, what do you think the future is of this game? Let me know. Adios.